Hey guys, what's up? This is Nickel from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today, we are gonna take a look at creating this kind of clean and smooth looking text effect into After Effects and as you can see, it looks pretty awesome and pretty professional. So, let's just get into it and I'll show you how to make this. So, first of all, I'm gonna create a new comp. I'm gonna set this to 920 into 1080. Okay. Then pretty quickly I'm going to create a new solid for a background. So I'll just name this PG. Okay. Then I'm going to create the text that we wanted. So for now I'm going to type in motion graphics. And just make sure it's in the center. Then we need to bring down the properties of the text. And go to animate. And just select this position. Okay, just make some room right over there. Hit down the rain selector and go to advanced settings. So, first of all, I'm going to set this from square to ramp up. And what this basically going to do is it's going to ramp this up. It's, bring, it's going to bring our text up like this, as you can see. So, we need to animate the position. So, basically, we need to change the position first. So, I'm going to set this to let's say 160 and we can now play around with the offset and animate the offset basically so yeah this should work good okay so I'm gonna set this to minus 100 make sure you're on the first frame and hit on the stopwatch of the offset then I'm gonna go to maybe 20 frames and set this all the way to 100 percent now we should have something like this now to make it look a little bit uh you know organic you can say i'm going to bring up the easy low to all the way 100 percent so now we should have kind of smooth looking effect as you can see it looks pretty good okay so far so good then i'm going to close the animator one go to animate and hit on the position again make sure select the position so now we should have animator two Okay, so bring down the position of, I mean, the range selector and the advanced settings. Then I'm going to go to, let's say, one second. And this time we need to animate this text in the reverse way so that it comes down after a few seconds, you know, just like this. So I'm going to go to, let's say, one second, 10 frames. Yep. Then we need to bring this to ramp down this time and set the position to same as the first that is 160. And we need to animate the offset again. So I'm gonna make sure I'm at 1.10 seconds. Hit on the offset and let's just go to let's say two seconds and bring this up again to 100. And bring the easy low again 100 percent So now we should have kind of this looking effect so far so good okay now the main step what we are gonna do is I'm gonna select the text and pre-compose this I'm gonna call this text one and go into it then select the text one in the project window go to the composition settings and uh, I'm gonna bring this up to 160 again and it's gonna basically shrink the composition size, I mean the height, to 160 pixels. So now we should have something like this. I'll just enable the motion blur so that you can get a little bit of motion blur in it, as you can see. And now if I go to our main comp, we should have something which looks kind of like this. You can see it is pretty simple. Then I'm gonna go right over there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go to a main comp and duplicate it. So hit Control D and select the bottom comp, make it 3D. And I'm gonna hit R to bring down the rotation properties. And I'm gonna rotate the x axis to 90%, or let's just say 180%. Oh, I think 90%. <laughs>
okay maybe maybe 180 i guess yep then i'm gonna bring this down to maybe let's see where we need to fit, fit this up so zoom in i'm gonna bring this up maybe right over there just make sure they don't clash into each other or overlap each other so I'll just bring this down again a little and yeah i think we are good just a little bit more just make sure there's no gap between them just like this yep. there we go okay, so i'm gonna keep it right over there then I'm gonna select the second comp and mask it out just halfway. Maybe this should work. And hit F to bring down the feather properties, and I'm gonna set this to 50. Should work good. And bring this opacity down again, and bam, there we are. It was so simple and so easy to create this kind of effect. As you can see, it looks pretty cool and pretty sleek. Now, using the same technique, you can also create a logo, you can see, which I have done just like this. Look pretty good. And the following of text effect, as you can see in this title, I have used the same technique, but in a different way, create a different type of effect. It makes sense here. Yeah. So, as you can see, using this technique, you can create some cool titles for your videos. And I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next tutorial and yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to give your reviews checking out